Now we just think of, of cows as being something that grazes in the field, it's black and white, it's got a name called daisy, um, either gives us milk or beef. And, 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 and what we forget is just how important these animals were in a wilder environment. Um, you know, one of the reasons why there are very many cattle, um, very many wild bulls and horses depicted in the, in the caves is, of course, because these two species were very, very common. They were mm. super abundant. And, 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 and even now, kind of wild nature is still attuned to the presence. So, for example, very simply, um, you know, if you've cattle grazing in the nature reserve and those cattle are not, um, you know, full of drugs like ivermectins, then, then, then basically just the, the dung that these animals produce, they can produce their own weight and dung in a year, you know, provides a huge food resource for a whole variety of different insects, you know, birds, um, you know, and other species. So, so that's why we originally brought them in. Wow. Um... So, away from the dung talk, um, they became a bit of a problem for you, and they, they do display these aggressive behavioural traits, don't they? Well, they do. Um, I mean, well, one of the reasons why the, 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 the two Germans um, were, were so supported by, the, um, you know, by, by, by high-ranking members of the Third Reich is that people like um, Heinrich um, Himmler and, and Hermann Goering were very keen um, hunters, and, and they, were, they knew of the old legends regarding this animal and the old hunting stories, and, and, and they, they told how fierce it was, you know, how, how the people that killed them were the big hunters, and when they killed them, you know, with lances, then, then they would go out into the forest and chop off their horns and keep the horns as drinking, um, drinking vessels. And so they really were quite a formidable animal, and they wanted to create something that was a formidable animal. So what they did was they selected things like um, Spanish fighting cattle to go into the mixture, and, and yep, yeah, they created something that's formidable, but just a bit too formidable for us, unfortunately. And have you had to get rid of them all? No, we've kept six. Um, mm. You know, we worked our way through them. We've got six here, two bulls and um, four cows, which are perfectly calm, perfectly manageable, uh, and essentially we selected the ones from this, this big group of cattle which are best suited for domestication because mm. we run about um, a 600-acre um, farm here. We have a variety of other animals and um, we have a lot of people coming at different times and we just cannot um, live with something that basically acts like a fighting bull all the time. What kind, of things, was it, what, what, what kind of things were these aggressive animals doing then? Well, I mean, with the original group, when you had them in fields, you simply couldn't walk through the fields um, some of the individuals were, were very, very aggressive, and no matter where they were, um, they would just come across and try and kill you, which was just no fun after, uh, at all after a while. No, <laughs> no fun at all, even at the beginning, never mind after. Well, it had, after yeah, I had a pre-storm of excitement, I suppose, at the right. beginning, but in the end it became a bit tedious. 